Over the past two months I've been obsessed with working on my C++ engine, which started off as a basic graphics engine for rendering and is now turning into a full-fledged game engine, so I guess that's a good thing. I already made two videos about it on the channel, so if you haven't watched it already, you should. But since most necessary features are already developed, I figured let me spend one week losing my mind trying to implement physics. Yes, physics. The subject with all these complicated equations, you know? Okay, off the bat I realise I have a problem, unfortunately adding physics is not as simple as dragging the physics file into the project. Oh wait, maybe it is. That was a joke, it's really not that simple and I can't believe you fell for that. No, but in reality since the project is already jam-packed with so many features, I need to make sure that anything I'm adding works with the logic so far implemented. In my case I'm going to start with rigid bodies which is literally just an empty class right now, but we can add stuff to it later, don't worry. Since this class inherits the component class, I can add it to my entities and have a display in the scene UI. But we should probably add stuff here, so it does something. Physics is a massive subject area with a bunch of stuff, so in reality I should really go study more of the subject to get more of an understanding. But screw that, I know physics, I obviously live it every day, so let's add gravity. I don't care what you say, gravity is simple, just a force applied on an object, usually downwards, so, you know, it falls. I mean, it can't be that hard, considering the idea literally got invented when some dude had an apple drop on his head. Also, side note, are we really believing that? Like, this man has lived his whole life, and only then did he think, Oh, that apple fell, that must be gravity. Yeah, I don't trust you, Newton. Anyways, I added gravity. And I know what you're thinking, it looks shit. Well, it's going to look bad because I haven't added the never-ending list of other physics stuff to make it look good. Since it turns out gravity is not as simple as just transforming an object in a direction. Ha, huh, silly me. So I added this thing called weight. It actually does nothing. Fuck. Okay, so I added this thing called acceleration. It actually does nothing. No, wait, this actually does something. It's just taking Newton's second law, which says a force acting on an object is equal to its mass times its acceleration. In simple terms, it means that how much an object speeds up depends on how heavy it is and also how much force is pushing or pulling against it. It also means that gravity looks much better, and that's pretty cool. Thanks Newton for that, maybe I hate you a little less now. The most obvious step from here was adding velocity, to which I apply some dampening and using my final equation. This is what the equation looks like. Honestly, at this point it's hieroglyphics and not English. You actually already saw this in action as well, it's literally what I showed you five seconds ago. <laughs> but the pieces of this physics system are coming together. So I woke up bright and early at 1 o'clock and dedicated my day to adding collisions. You know, because at the moment everything is falling through the ground. I made a new collider class, which is empty at the moment, but again since it's using the entity component system, I can see it in the scene. So uh, what now? Well, there are many different collision types I can add. We have ABB, which is for aligned bounding boxes, LBB for oriented bounding boxes, silly collisions for spheres, capsule collisions- Okay, stop. For now, I'll just be using AABB, which is the standard most people use. Now, how do we collisions? So I added the collider to the entities and it does nothing. Which makes sense because I haven't written any code, so uh, let's fix that. Okay, I fixed it. Basically, the collision class is mainly using this update collider function, which creates the collider based on the object's width, height, and depth. And then I actually use the direct x bounding box functions and make the collider. Finally, I just update this function every frame, and well now, if I drag this cube into this other cube, we get collisions. Now, if you yourself would like to learn how to do this, program, or learn any other skill, then today's sponsor Brilliant is the answer. Brilliant helps you get smarter every day with thousands of interactive lessons in maths, science, programming, data analysis, and AI. Brilliant is a learning app designed to be uniquely effective. Each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving, so you're not just sat listening to somebody talk for hours. Plus, all content on Brilliant is crafted by an award-winning team of teachers, researchers, and professionals. Brilliant helps you build your critical thinking skills through problem solving and not memorizing. So while you're building real knowledge on specific topics, you'll also be becoming a better thinker. I enjoy learning a little every day since it's a really effective way to, well, actually learn. And you can do that on Brilliant. Just dedicate however much time you want a day, it's up to you. Plus you can learn anywhere since you can get Brilliant on your phone. I personally can recommend the programming courses on Brilliant since they're a great way to learn foundational knowledge. Now to try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash Zyger or scan the QR code on screen or alternatively you can click the link in the description. You also get 20% off of an annual premium subscription. Now let's continue. Okay, so day 3, I, I think I'm fried. I mean, we're 3 days in and I barely have gravity implemented. Collisions theoretically exist but nothing happens. Yeah, this may be doomed. 
Anyways, I needed to add collision resolutions to my collision system. Oh no, the word collision doesn't seem real anymore. But basically, this class will decide what happens when a collision occurs. The first resolver I want to make will make it possible for one entity to push another. That way they aren't just phasing through, since that's not very realistic. The way this works is we grab both colliders and check if they intersect. If they do, we're good and we can continue. Then I needed to calculate the vector between the centers and the overlap on each axis. In human terms, how much cube A intersects cube B. Based on this I can calculate a correction value, so how much I need to move it away so it no longer intersects, and then apply this position. It sounds pretty confusing, and the code isn't the best, but honestly, it works. And the final result doesn't actually look that bad, right? Oh, I almost forgot. To make the resolver use more of the rigid body class, I implemented weight into the equation. So now heavier objects are harder to move as opposed to lighter ones. Okay, it was time to lock in. I wanted to add more resolutions into the resolver class, since just having the intersecting one is kinda boring. The first one I added was object bouncing. I wanted to do something like bouncing on slimes in Minecraft, because, not gonna lie, it's actually really fun. For this, I start by setting a bounciness parameter, aka restitution. Then I calculate the collision normal and use that in the object's velocity. It works best when dropping an object onto a static surface like the ground here. It's even better if I use a bunny mesh, because, I don't know, it's just kinda cute and makes sense. Okay, next up I ended up dedicating some time to friction. You know when you like stand on ice and it's slippy and you slide? Yeah, that's exactly what I was going for. I added a friction parameter, which in hindsight, not the best method, since adding actual physics materials would be better, but who cares, it works. And now when I apply some force to the cube, it slides. Sometimes, uh, a bit too much. <laughs> Okay guys, so not gonna lie, I kinda procrastinated and didn't end up getting too much finished on Friday. It was mainly just rewriting some of the badly written code and optimizing it since uh, I didn't do that before. And well, that's it for now. Physics exists. If you like this video and would like more videos about my engine, then subscribe and leave a like, and uh, yeah. Now to try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash zyger or scan the QR code on screen, or alternatively you can click the link in the description. You also get 20% off off an annual premium subscription. And well, that's it for now. Bye!